Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today's flight is with probably the most likely airline to go bankrupt next, or will most likely, or will, or it will struggle the most because of COVID-19. And again, I wanted to keep these introductions as minimal as possible. Um, but Norwegian Airlines is on the pretty much on the verge of collapsing because of this virus, um, which is really unfortunate. And uh, I really hope they do survive. Um, they're a very important asset. And uh, yeah. Anyway, today's flight is with the 737, of, of course, service from Oslo to Dublin. And uh, I am planning on flying it back. Well, I'll decide whether I make a video on it. Um, but we have pretty much loaded the uh, tanks completely full, at least. Uh, Hi, guys. Here is the load sheet for you. Thanks. Talk to you again soon. Well, at least um, we've tanked so much that we are capable of flying back without having to refuel. Um, I've calculated exactly how much I'll need. Um, so I am expecting to fly back. So we got our load sheet. Let's go ahead and fill up our information. Nothing has changed. Our fuel 13.9. And our reserves today will be 2.1. From here on out, we will calculate the information. We'll actually go back to here and uh, performance. Frustrating takeoff 1. Labs config 5. You see, on, anti-ice off, condition is dry. And our winds. Our winds are 360 at 8. Happy to turn on the APU. Go for it. Starting APU. A temperature of 30 degrees. Flaps. Hold up, take off one D rate. Flaps will be five CG, nineteen eight, fifteen hundred. V one, one four one, one four five, and one five one. APU on the buses. Alright. VR145, V2151. Ground flight. V2151 set. CDU pre flight. Completed. Rudder and nail around trim. Free and zero. Taxi and takeoff briefing. Completed. Any collision light on before start checklist complete. Go ahead. Please confirm that the brakes are set. Communications are okay and the brakes are set. Thanks. Understood. Facing south. Release the brakes, please. Brakes released. Okay, commencing pushback. Finally, fix the uh, pushback issue with Ultimate Ground Crew X. Very nice. Um, 
Ultimate Ground Crew fixed the issue for them, basically. Still think the ground handling of the FS Labs and the 737 NGXU are the worst so far. I think they're terrible. All ground equipment is clear, you can start the engines at your discretion. Start engine 2. Starting 2. Starter cut out. Start engine one. Starting one. We now request your full attention as the flight attendants demonstrate the safety features of this aircraft. When the seatbelt sign illuminates, you must fasten your seatbelt. Insert the flat metal clip to the buckle and pull on the loosened strap to tighten it up. To release your seatbelt, lift the upper portion of the buckle. We suggest that you keep your seatbelt fastened throughout the flight as we may experience turbulence. There are several emergency exits on this aircraft, two forward, two aft, and two over each wing. Please take a moment to locate the exit nearest you. In some cases, the exit may be behind you. If we need to evacuate the aircraft, floor-level lighting will guide you toward the exit. Doors can be opened by moving the handle in the direction of the arrow. Each door is equipped with an inflatable slide, which may also be attached and used as a life raft. Oxygen and air pressures are always being monitored. In the event of a decompression, an oxygen mask will automatically appear in front of you. To start the flow of oxygen, pull the mask toward you. Place it firmly over your nose and mouth and secure the elastic band behind your head and breathe normally. Although the bag does not inflate, oxygen is flowing to the mask. If you are traveling with a child or someone who requires Starter assistance, cut out. secure your mask on first and then assist that other person. Keep your mask on until an uniformed crew member advises you to remove it. In the event of an emergency, please assume the bracing position. Lean forward with your hands on top of your head and your elbows against your thighs. Ensure your feet are flat on the floor. A life vest is located in a pouch under your seat or between the armrests. When instructed to do so, open the plastic pouch and remove the vest. Flip it over your head. Press the straps around your waist and adjust the Flaps device. 5. Flaps 5. Pull firmly on the red cord only when leaving the aircraft. Brakes are set. Refill the vest, blow it to the mouthpiece. Use the whistle and light to attract attention. Also, your seat bottom Flight control is used as a flotation device. Pull the cushion from the Flight seat control 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 Pull right. Go ahead. Pull, pull up. With, or pull down. Pull left. Okay, the terrible is disconnected and the pit is out and the equipment is clear. Flight control check complete. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask one of our crew members. We wish you an all an enjoyable flight. You can disconnect and go to hand signals. Thanks, till next time and have a good flight. Before taxi checklist. Before taxi checklist, generators on, probe heat on, any ice off, isolation valve auto, engine start switches auto, recall. Checked. Checked. Auto brake, RTO, engine start levers. Idle detent. Flight controls. Checked. Ground equipment. Clear. Clear. Before taxi checklist complete. Clear left. They're right.
Runway entry procedure. Check. Cabin crew, take your seats. Ready to go. Take off. Check. Press set. Eighty knots. Check. Positive rate. Gear up. Flaps one. Flaps one. Flaps up. Flaps up.
It's at flight level 340. Flight level 340 set. After takeoff checklist. After takeoff checklist, engine bleeds on, packs, auto, landing gear, up and off, flaps, up, no lights. After takeoff checklist complete. Happy to release the cabin crew. No. Okay. Transition altitude, set standard. Standard set. Standard set. Standard set. Okay. Okay to release the cabin. Yes. Go for it. Okay. Um, I was wondering if maybe you'd like to go to the beach and maybe get a coffee after or something.
Russian 3 uniform Bravo from right south, cleared all this approach, runway 10, report established. I cleared runway 10 and will report when established for 3 uniform Bravo. Shamrock 3, Julie Charlie Vic 8, Sierra Black 2, then turn right, Sierra. Sierra 2 and then Sierra, Shamrock 3, Julie Charlie. Flight deck. Okay, thanks. Captain, the cabin is secure. Approach checklist. Altimeters. One zero three two set. Altimeters reset. One zero three two one zero three two set. Approach checklist complete. Localizer alive. Region 8 Uniform Bravo established on the ILS 10. No shuttle 3 Uniform Bravo established on the ILS 10. Final approach fix. Height checked. Mr. Approach altitude not set. Clear, clear to land runway 104 8 Uniform Bravo. Cabin crew, take your seats. Gear down. Gear down. We're gonna do some things out of order because we need to lose a lot of speed. We may have to go around. I'm looking at the plate now. Just to see what we can expect. Alright. Flaps one. Flaps one. Flaps five. Flaps five. All right. Check. Agent six three one, you're leaving my airspace. Positive rate. Right. Is off line. Montreal one two two decimal. Thanks for flying. Bye bye. Okay, we're going to Unicorn for Agent six three one. Have a good day, sir. North Shuttle 8 Uniform Bravo going around. Roger, North Shuttle 3 Uniform Bravo. It's going to be a right turn, right turn 180 degrees onto 3000 feet. Right turn 180 at 3000 for 8 Uniform Bravo. Correction 3 Uniform Bravo. 1000 level.
500 feet. Not stable. Yes, we are. Landing. Check. Ground visible. Speed break up, reverse is normal. Actually, Sharma, 496 is change of plans. Can you stop these on 580? 60 knots. Stop descent 780, Sharma, 4961. Request the start up and push back WestJet 17. WestJet 17, push on set is approved. QNH 1032. Push back approved. QNH 1032, WestJet 17. Norwegian 3 Uniform Bravo holding short 3 4. No shuttle 3 Uniform Bravo, you can continue taxi left onto runway 3 4. Vacate onto Hotel 1, hold short of link 4. Our taxi left on runway 3 4. Exit holding, exit H1 or Hotel 1 and then hold short link 4 for 3 Uniform Bravo. So rusty. Good, good afternoon, Shamrock Four. So rusty. Romeo radio check. So rusty. I'm so rusty. It's sad. It's absolutely sad. Uh, Shamrock Four Hotel Romeo Double Hotel Radio Blue Sea Flight. Roger Four Hotel Romeo. Hold short link four. Hotel 1 So damn, wow Alright Shamrock 4961, you can route direct Neckel and descent altitude Actually, descent altitude 5000 feet QNH 1032 Direct Neckel down 5000 QNH 1032 Shamrock 4961 Exit right of hotel one, or short link four. Can I have seven six six? Uh, Ryder, 
Shut down right engine. Engine start lever number two confirmed. Confirmed. Cut off. Lights and doors. Check. Cabin crew, disarm doors and cross check. Trevor 4961, disarm, DQ on the bus. Shamrock 4961 from Rice Shut down checklist. Shut down checklist. Fuel pumps off. Pro key auto. Hydraulic panel set. Flaps. Up. No light. Up. Up. Parking brake. On. Set. Engine start levers. Cut off. Weather radar. Off. Off. Shut down checklist complete. Cockpit ground. Go ahead. Please. Please connect the GPU. Roger, connecting the GPU.
Alright, so we're just gonna check our fuel usage as well as our flight time and then compare it to our next flight plan that we're flying back. Okay, we use quite a bit of fuel, so we need to refuel about 1.2 tons. So we'll do that because of the go around. Um, um, but otherwise, everything. We're also a bit late. 1433 was supposed to. Is our arrival? No. Yes, 1433 was supposed to be. Fourteen, fifteen. So we're a bit, we're fifteen minutes behind schedule. Yeah. So that was the end of part one. We'll see you in part two. We'll be flying back. See you.